The Black Sun The Black Sun is an ancient symbol for the core of the Milky Way. It is depicted throughout the art of all human history, from the Hotel at the End of Time scenes of Stanley Kubrick's film 2001, to as far back as the Late Stone Age. When any population achieves Neolithic levels of technology, one of the first symbols they express in their carvings is the spiral. The regular spiral, or spira mirabilis, is the symbol of the black sun. Once a Neolithic culture achieves this level of written communication, the spiral is one of the first things they express symbolically. The spiral can have as many arms as the artist wishes to portray, but the first and oldest symbol to depict the galaxy spiral with more than one arm is the Chinese symbol of the yin-yang. This is a symbol for galactic core, just as is the modern Mayan symbol of the Hunab Hu. The next number of arms a spiral can have is three, in the form of the Triskali, an ancient symbol of Buddhism, representing the three Hindu elements or tattvas. This symbol appears around the world as well, and has specific traits such as being a depiction of the number 666. The forearmed form of the spiral is called a fly flot or swastika. It is the third oldest symbol representing the spiraling arms of the Milky Way galaxy as they are pulled inward towards its central core. The labyrinth symbol, such as the maze of Chartres Cathedral in France, is a complex spiral and often divided into four quadrants to symbolize the four elements of Western science. The most familiar form of this design now is the Nazi crooked cross motif which shows the rotation of its four bars around in an anti-clockwise motion. Curiously enough, the galactic spiral appears counterclockwise only from below in the southern hemisphere. However, from magnetic north, the galaxy appears as a six-armed clockwise spiral. Our own sun appears in the third arm in, or the fourth counting outward from galactic core. The central hub of our Milky Way galaxy is tilted slightly from a right-angled orientation to the plane of the galaxy. Inside this massive star cluster, we will find the origin for the symbol of the Black Sun. Here, in the midst of this core cluster, we begin to see the spiraling of nebulae inwards towards the exact center of our galaxy. As we approach this spiraling nebula, we can identify the star systems closest to the core of the Milky Way. The core's innermost star cluster is a system in the constellation Sagittarius, called the Sagittarius A star system. The Sagittarius A star system actually has six stars in it, each in a close orbit around the black hole at the core of our spiral galaxy. This black hole is what is depicted in the spiral symbols of the black sun. Curiously, in the year 2000, a nova appeared in this star system and may mark a seventh star now caught in the black hole's crushing gravity. In the very smallest inner regions of the core of our Milky Way galaxy lurks what the ancients called the Black Sun, which we now know to be a black hole. From the poles of this spinning dark mass are emitted giant jets of iron gas traveling faster than light. The electromagnetic waves of these emissions curve around from the black hole's poles to connect to the north and south poles of all the stars in the Milky Way, forming an enormous, invisible, electromagnetic torus around our galaxy. This returns us to the star at the center of our own solar system, the Sun, or Sol. For the last 1,100 years, the Sun has been building up its solar flares and sunspots in an increasing cycle. In 2012, the electromagnetic field of the Sun will be coiled up the tightest it has been in this cycle. The Sun has been dormant for the last few years, 
and has had zero sunspots for long periods during that time. The reason for our star's coiling electromagnetic field reaching its peak in 2012 has to do with the alignment of the Sun with galactic core. When the orbital plane of our solar system aligns with the accretion disk of galactic core and our star eclipses the black Sun at the center of the Milky Way, the solar cycle will restart from zero. When the Sun, our star, eclipses the black hole at the core of the Milky Way, I predict that the electromagnetic toroidal rays connecting the poles of the galaxy's stars to those of its core black hole will become momentarily invisible. This will mean that during the eclipse, the light we see reaching us now from distant stars beyond our galaxy will disappear and the true form of the universe beyond will be revealed. While we base much of our modern sciences upon observations made about distant stars and galaxies on the light from photons reaching us now, the true image of the universe beyond these photons is very different. Most stars, let alone the more distant galaxies, whose light is reaching us now, have long since burnt out. The void of the spaces between galaxies has increased as the space within each decreases, consumed into their core black holes. The marvelous wonder of the universal filaments and walls of galactic clusters will vanish during the 2012 eclipse of the local suns, just like the blue sky becoming transparent during an eclipse of the sun by the moon. When the eclipse is finished, it will reappear and defy us more than ever to compare this illusory image to the patterns of neurons inside our own brains. In 2012, the black sun will shine, and the symbols now known only to some will then have a new meaning that can be easily understood by all. The Black Sun